Just about six lengths to go here in the men's 1500 free final, and Jaeger and Wilobowski are swimming by themselves. You see there the track and field is coming your way after we leave you from Omaha. The final of the men's and women's 100 meter dashes there. There's a little different feel to this marathon here of swimming in the men's 1500, but as expected, Rowdy, it is Jaeger and Wilomowski. Yeah, Wilomowski's got that real quick, high tempo, light on the surface stroke, quick rotation. Jaeger beats him off the wall each and every time. Jaeger right there is on the top of your screen. He's about three tenths of a second off the wall better than Wilomowski, but Wilomowski's kind of hugging that lane line right there and catching a little bit of draft. He's so light. He's just kind of surfing right along that wake of Jaeger. You use the word surf, and that's exactly what yeah. Jordan Wilomowski is. We talked with his coach just before the race, and he said he's just a surfer kid from Malibu who just turned into this long distance kind of grinder and said that he's more of a hummingbird than an eagle. That's the kind of style that he has. Dave Kelsheimer's done a great job with Jordan Wilomowski, all the coaching staff. In fact, the Olympic coaches were named today. Mike Bottom, Dave Durden, Bowerly, Coach Bowerly, Jack Bowerly, who were named to the men's team. Greg Meehan, Bruce, Bruce Gimmel, Katie Videcki's coach, and Ray Lewis. All of them have did such a tremendous job here with their athletes. That's great coaching staff to join head coach David Marsh and Bob Bowman. So many stories you hear, especially at these trials, how swimmers were inspired. The story on Connor Yeager is that he grew up in the same area of New Jersey that U.S. Olympian Tom Wilkins did. Tom Wilkins came to the elementary school of Connor Yeager when he was eight years old and talked about what it was like to be an Olympian, brought his medal there, showed it to Connor Yeager, and from that moment on, Connor Yeager said, that's what I want to do. He made his first Olympic team four years ago, has already made his second, and looks like he's pulling away a bit here from the open water swimmer, Wilomowski, who's also going to become the first guy to double up in open water and swimming this in the 1500. So as expected, Connor Yeager and Jordan Wilomowski as they make one final turn for home. The big difference here is Connor Yeager on the top of the screen just has his legs to go to. Wilomowski can do it, but he just doesn't match the turnover rate right now and the power and the propulsion of those legs and that great arm movement of Connor Yeager. What a swim he's having and Jordan Wilomowski. And he's got this lap count down, doesn't he? Remember four years ago in the preliminaries of this event at these trials, he went, he kept swimming after 30 lengths. He's not about to do that again. His work is done. Fourth fastest time in the world this year for Connor Yeager. Personal best for Wilomowski. So coming in in the third position is Michael McBroom. But Connor Yeager just became a busier guy in Rio. He adds this long distance swim to his 400 free program. So the premier American male distance swimmer continues to set the pace. What a swim for those two guys. A proud moment for Jordan Wilomowski on the left to be able to say that he is going to the Olympic Games, swimming the 1500, the last day of the games, perhaps. Yeah, there's Next a, to last day of the prelims. Yeah, there's a closer span between the 1500 and the open swim. He's going to swim the prelims on August 12th, the final on August 13th if he makes it. And then the open water is like the 16th. So he <laughs> is going to be swimming some major meters in Rio. 13,000 meters in a couple days. So there it is, 1447.61 for Jaeger, and Willamoski joins him. 